JBN, we keep you informed. Me can't live right now without her, said Father. Please remember to subscribe, like, share, leave us a comment, and click the notification bell to receive our daily news items. I thought I would use this platform to make a public appeal. Those of you who have been following the media would have seen the case of a young woman. Her name is Jasmine Bean, 22-year-old university student. She's a student at the University of the West Indies, but she is also visually impaired. And she has been missing um, for almost a week now, two weeks now. From the 27th of, of February, she has been missing. It's a very sad situation. Um, I am personally hurt by this. Um, uh, it has been almost two weeks since 22-year-old Jasmine Moya Dean, who is visually impaired, has been home. The international relations major at the University of the West Indies, UA, went to school about 10.30 a.m. on Thursday, February 27. But after 9 p.m., Jasmine's worried younger sister told their father, Lloyd Dean, to call and check up on her. Right away, I call her. She said, Daddy, I'm up on a taxi. She never really said where she was anyway. My credit done, he recalled. Shortly after, he told his son to call Jasmine again. He called her 10 minutes after that. She answered and she said, I'm there in the taxi. He said, when Jasmine didn't return home that night, it was painful. Now it is even worse. His life is crumbling around him, and he's trying his best to be strong for his three other children, as he's the only remaining parent. His wife died 12 years ago. I'm killing live right now without her. And no man not give me no justice. I'm going to talk. People are talking. People can't people can give me no food right now, you know. The first night she missed me, I didn't see her from the night. Yo, I can't sleep, you know. When I cook, I can't eat, and I can't share three or four plates me share. And when I share, that time let me feel it. When I go share food, and my sister my wife, I don't know where she is. I don't know where she is, you know. Because if they leave me to do it, I'll never shoot her out when I get her. If I do it, you know, shoot her out. You rap her, you rap her, but you shoot her out when I get her. What kind of style is that? I don't know. Dean said that he always told Jasmine to avoid taxis. She would usually take the state-owned Jamaica Urban Transit Company, JUTC buses, to get home in Bull Bay, St. Andrew. Me warn her, because me don't know how to find a taxi man. When she take the JUTC bus, you can't go to the company and find who drive the bus that time. You can't find the driver, he said. Jasmine returned to school in October, one month later than scheduled, because her father was having problem with finances. Me paid the first semester boarding fee, but me couldn't pay no more. She won't go to school. As she work her way up for go to school, she do everything. She sent out her thing them to the Ministry of Education looking help, he said. Me said to her, you all go to school same way, don't worry. Dean went to UA and watched the security footage from the night of his daughter's disappearance. One hour and 16 minutes, she stood up out of the bus stop for. 9.16 p.m., as she alone did it, cause everybody gone. This juice man sit down behind her about four feet away. Me only see when one black yard just come and park in front of her. Me know when somebody come for people, you know. Me and a fool. The man just come and park in front of her, and the juice man just hold her and lead her to the taxi door and put her in at the front of the taxi. Just watching and seeing, Missy likes to set this set. He said that though he sees the police working hard, he still thinks they could show more urgency. Despite everything, he's still hopeful that his daughter will return home safe and sound. Me no have no doubt. Me believe say she there somewhere. Them have her somewhere under some farm and lock up and tie up. We mash up this mepit, you know. We hope that some mercy could reach the hearts of those who have her in, uh, in their captives, if that is the case, to release her. Uh, the entire Jamaica is praying for her safe.
return. He said, JBN, we keep you informed. Please remember to subscribe, like, share, leave us a comment and click the notification bell to receive our daily news items.